disinfect. Welcome to Snowboard Review TV, supported by Peak Leaders Instructor Training Courses. This is a 2012 All Mountain Snowboard Preview. The biggest change at Amplid is a paradigmas move from camber to zero camber for a softer, more playful flex. But don't worry, the unweight retains its powerful doomsday camber to cater for expert riders who like their precision rides. Tomic's All Mountain offering remains minimal, consisting of the Stasher and the Alibi Renew. Triple front flip enthusiast Tyler Chilton gets his own pro model at APO for 2012. With a stiff flex and camrock like profile, it resembles last year's BC powder rocker, but with blunted tips. Recently, Burton have been sourcing the wheat from the chaff in their board range, and several classic models have had the chop. Fortunately, the smooth and powerful Custom X and Vapor remain, but we couldn't find the T7 anywhere. As far as technology goes, it's all about the squeeze box core profile, which means a thinner core under the bindings. We're told it's the ultimate combination with the Customs Flying V profile. The guys at the Riders Lounge told us we weren't allowed to take pictures of Capita's new line, but we were able to sneak a picture of the new Snowboard of Death. Check out the maglite bump in the middle of the side cut. John Jackson's board at Forum, The Conflict, gets all biblical with cool David and Goliath graphics and the Impossible series with its super strong and lively magnesium oxide reinforcement dethrones the autogenetics to become the flagship board at GNU. Dirty Pillow, GNU's twin banana powder slayer, gets another year. The legendary Libtech Travis Rice now comes in four flavours, the standard Pro C2 BTX, the more powerful horsepower version with damp and powerful basalt construction and glow in the dark sidewalls, a horsepower split with Karakaram clips and splitboard hole pattern, and the ridiculous banana hammock. Nitro has teamed up with Fiat's Italian tuning house Abarth to produce some limited edition Abarth Team Series boards. With traditional camber and an ISO nano high speed center base, these boards are for speed freaks only. All Mountain Supremo, Jake Blauvert, gets a pro model at ride, which joins the Buck Wild as the newcomers to the line. And finally, the Salomon Man's board combines basalt strings with a bamboo core and early rise tips to create one of the most exciting boards of 2012.